Hey guys, this is Jeff with DI Oh My God Why. Um, wanted to give an intro video on one of the main projects I'm working on, which is this gigantic bus in front of me. Um, next to it, over there on the right, is actually my uh, my van that I've had for a number of years now. It's an E250, which is a three quarter ton Ford chassis. That's a 92, this is an 03. Functionally, they look almost identical. They changed the powertrains up a little bit, and a little bit of change on the interior, but it's actually really surprising how, uh, how similar they are to drive, how similar the control setups are, all that, so. Uh, under the hood there, I tried to figure out a way to do it, to pop it with two hands and holding the camera. Did not succeed there, but it's the 7.3 liter. If you're familiar with Ford Power Strokes, it's probably the most uh, produced one they've had. Um, they've gone through a number of 6.0, 7, 4, a bunch of different ones since, but the 7.3 is one of the older and super reliable ones. So the bus itself has 335,000 miles on it. Um, I have yet to crack open the uh, the doghouse inside to see if that's true to the engine, but I know that a lot of the components in there are remanufactured, so my suspicion is the engine does not have quite that much. So with that, we'll go inside. Um, as you can see, I uh, had to plow some uh, some snow out of the way to get in here. I broke my uh, my snow my uh, snow shovel. Um, not on this. I actually broke it yesterday, but I can claim I broke it for this video. So coming on in, you can see uh, pretty standard controls. I mean, it looks like a Ford van. Uh, kind of driver's area there's really nothing over here um <clears throat> kind of a dead spot and then obviously the door handle which is incredibly rattly it's going to be one of the fun things to fix uh, pretty rudimentary stereo there's a little uh, intercom up here i need to find a mic for um a few other things this is the uh almost terrifying um conversion circuit set up here so tons of crazy stuff going on in there um they do give you a nice little wiring diagram and i actually did get the entire wiring diagram from the nice folks at Goshen before they closed their doors in November. So, um, a couple cool things. It's got a sign here. You can see the switch. It actually rotates. And then we have the same one over here on the passenger side. So, anyway, looking back from the front, you can see five rows on each side, total of 20 seats. What's probably going to happen is uh, I'll pull out basically the last six rows, um, more or less. There's going to be probably a, a table set up over here, and then we'll leave the first two rows in for the, the girls and my wife. Um, it also has a nice set of uh, luggage racks, which are pretty sturdy, so it's going to be super easy to build to, which I'm really excited about. I mean, it's basically got framing in place, and just tying into that is not going to be much of a problem. A um, couple vents up top, which are nice. They're good uh, fresh air vents. If it's burly enough, I'd like to put a rack or maybe even a deck up top. We'll see. That's uh, kind of long term. But going through here, um, a couple things to note. Uh, you can see under this one, there's a, a heater. There's another one in the back there, and these are surprise they're electric, but they're surprisingly burly. Um, they really do keep this thing pretty warm in the winter, so once it's all running, that should be a, a really nice benefit, because obviously with the windows, there's a, not a ton of insulation, so it can definitely get a little chilly back here. But uh, walking towards the back, you can see the roof air in the back as well. It is a carrier unit, so pretty reliable. Um, it works great. I fired it up when I bought the thing, and uh, no problems. And then this whole section back here has uh, aircraft track which you can see in the ground there. There's the lift. So it's got the same kind of door, the kind of uh, double opening door on the side there. Normally they can come on the back. This one has just the straight uh, the straight window on the back, which is good and bad, nothing blocking the view because um, it does not have a backup camera, but it would have been a little bit nice to have stuff, uh, have the access straight out the back. But it's nice and open here. So a lot of room to put in whatever we want really. So here we go looking again towards the front. Um, I'm six foot two, and I can stand up in most of the bus in the very front and under the AC. I don't fit, but otherwise it's great. Um, it does have the fun little uh, little pull strings here, which uh, do actually light up that white sign up front. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave them in. My girls like them a little too much, but we'll see. Uh, yeah, so each of the seats has a lap belt. I kind of wish some had shoulder belts, but uh, such it is. I might have to install them. So, but uh, with any luck, I can resell some of these. You can kind of see how they're secured. There's a track on the wall that they're bolted to, and then right underneath this side, there's also a track. So in terms of building to this, I mean, taking seats out and then attaching new stuff, it's not gonna be particularly difficult, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I have a lot of, uh, a lot of room to work with here. Uh, controls up front, again, really similar to a standard bus or, or van. Um, so yeah, you got your AC, um, all the, the normal uh, HVAC stuff. There's one more here, that's for the heater. I'm gonna think if I pull up this stuff here. There's a couple little switches here um, for the wheelchair uh, ramp and a few other things, but not really a ton of stuff. It did come with the radio too. I'll probably see if I can get a few bucks on eBay for that guy. So you can go for a quick walk around the outside. I'll show you the rest of this. Um, I mean, on the outside, it really just looks like a bus. Back here, it's uh, 
pretty clear. Um, I did not shovel that far, so I won't go all the way around. But uh, let's see. The only issue that I've really found that I'm not stoked on is there's a crack in the window. I just have to seal that. I don't feel like buying a whole new window, and this is a low budget project. So here's the front again. Um, compared to the E250, this thing is monstrous. It's got these huge fender flares. It's got a huge um, front axle setup. And actually, you can set up a, um, a four-wheel drive setup based on the F550 if you want. So you can kind of see how tall it is. Um, the bus itself underneath that snow sits a little over seven, probably seven and a half at the racks. So looking up at the top of the, uh, of the bus there, I think we're probably sitting close to 10, 11 feet. So go around the side real quick, kind of show you the front of the van and, and this thing. So side by side, you can see they're uh, definitely same family, different species, but uh, it is not small. So anyway, uh, keep an eye out on this page. You'll see more videos as we kind of put this thing together. And uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon.